Well, today we're on Harris Lake. A lot of people call it Shared Harris. It's a uh, 4,200, 4,300 uh, acre uh, impoundment. Uh, and uh, so we're in Central North Carolina. And so uh, it's, uh, it's a great fishery. It's well known for its bass, well known for its crappie. We've got good crappie and uh, an abundance of crappie. So uh, great lake. It's a little bit smaller than we fish sometimes, but it's a, it's a great lake. All right, so we see a good so fish good. right there. Yeah. All right, we're gonna try to pitch a live chartreuse fire dye minnow over to it and see if we can get them to bite. Unfortunately, we pitched a regular minnow before we had dyed any and they didn't want it. So we're gonna see if this makes a difference. You can see the chartreuse minnow right there. I can see it from here. We're gonna see if we can get one of those fish to bite here on the live scope. That's a brush see pile it? you're looking at right now. See the fish chasing it right there? See the fish right there chasing it? Come on, eat it, eat it. He swam away. He swam away. These fish are so tight to the brush right now, we can't try to pull them out, make them bite. Ooh. Chase it, how big Mike? Big Mike's got one. Pull it right out of the middle. Oh, it's a nice fish too, Big Mike. Be careful. Chartreuse minnow in its mouth. Woo, son. Hey, boys, we're finally <laughs> on board. Hey, hey, how you like that? Nice. Oh, he's got a chartreuse minnow in his mouth. And nice fish. It's got, it's got deep water and it's got shallow water. It's got great shallow water flats where they spawn at. Um, it's a fairly easy lake to get to know. Um, so it's it's just a, and it's most of the time it's pretty clear water body, you know, clear body of water. So uh, it don't it don't stain. And the, the one thing is, is that it, the water level don't fluctuate in this lake like it does Jordan and other lakes in our area. Uh, that, that lake was built for flood control this lake's not so uh, water level stays pretty consistent we're out here today fishing brush piles we're using uh, fireballs with bobby garland baits little small uh, jig heads 48 ounce six pound test line uh, uh, we got a wally marshall uh, dock shooter right here and um, we're just pitching at these brush piles and pulling out some pretty nice fish uh, this one right here we've caught two of it two off of it that is about 12, 12 and a half inches long. So a uh, good way to fish. Uh, if you've never tried the fireballs, give it give it a try. It's definitely making a difference for us today. Yeah, yeah if you catch a uh, 13 pound stringer of crappie with seven, with seven crappie, uh, that's a pretty good stringer, you know. That's a pretty good weight in a tournament. So it's, uh, and that's pretty common. That's pretty common in tournaments that we hold on this lake. Well, it does get pressure, and at uh, certain times of the year, when it, when that pressure occurs, you, you've really got to search for them. It tends to shut them down a little bit at times. Um, like, like the last two or three weeks, we hadn't had a lot of pressure, but the fish are pretty skittish right now, and we uh, today we were catching fish you know, out of school, schools of fish. Is, uh, seem to be producing the best for us today. So uh, they got a lot of brush on this lake and uh, we fish a lot of that. And, uh, it's a good trolling lake and it's a good pitching lake cast. You can cast to them and stuff of that nature. So it uh, you, you can fish any technique you want to on this lake and be successful. Hey guys, um, fishing this point right here off this island right here, we were fishing a brush pile at first, but what we have also found is that there's schools of fish out here that's roaming around. And we're, we just caught two or three out of those schools of fish. So don't, uh, don't think you've got, always got to fish brush piles. You can also fish schools of fish that are roaming. And if you find those, like right now, we're finding them off main lake points uh, uh, and stuff like that. So uh, schools of fish that's roaming can produce some good fish. And that's that brush pile you were talking about, yeah, huh? These are schools of fish just roaming out. Really? That's a big fish. That's a big fish. There's a fish in that. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. 
Ooh. Got him. This is that school you were just talking about. Yes. Yep, just did, caught this one out of a school of fish. Did you pull it right off the brush? No, no right. there's no it's brush out there. It's just They're just roaming. Yeah. Look at that one. Look at that one, guys. That's a nice fish right there. We Right now, we're catching them in schools of fish. We're, we're following schools of fish. Once again, using the fireballs are making a difference for us today. Was that a crappie? Big Mike. That big boy. Big Mike. First cast. Pull that big boy out. Check him out. Not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. Look at this black crappy right here. It's a it's a good fish. We uh, just caught it on a brush pile uh, using the fireballs, uh, pink shad and uh, just a beautiful fish. Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from the greater Raleigh-Durham area here at Sharon Harris Reservoir. Other people call this place Harris Lake. And ironically today, we went out with Freddie Sinclair, a Sinclair's guide service, and he said, this is a small lake, guys. You know, and we're going small. There's almost 4,100 acres here. Uh, it's actually a pretty large lake, but when you have lakes like Kerr Lake and other lakes nearby, like Falls Lake, this is actually a fairly small place, but it's not small when it comes to crappie fishing. Uh, you know, as close as we are to Raleigh, close as we are to Durham, as close as we are to Chapel Hill right now, Cary, Apex, there are an absolute ton of crappies in this lake. Now, you can catch them all year round. Now, we came out here today and had a little interesting day. You know, they're kind of in a transition bite, so we went and grabbed live scope. And we watched Freddie look on the live scope for schools of fish kind of just meandering around. Uh, they weren't really tight to structure. We did find a few fish, you know, that were sit there on structure. But most of them were kind of just migrating around on their own. There weren't large schools of fish. So we found those fish. And we went out there and we grabbed a jig and we tipped it with a crappie fireball. Why do we use those crappie fireballs? Well, the heavy scent, whether it's the garlic or the shad version, helps catch more fish. It's a proven fact. Now, today we didn't catch any absolute slabs. However, this isn't the time of year you find slabs all over the place. What we were fortunate to do was catch dozens of crappie. Now, we actually put all of them back simply because we weren't gonna harvest or eat any of these fish. We figured why not release them so you guys can enjoy catching them. Now, you'll find that this is a beautiful place to get away from the busy city life really close to the Raleigh-Durham area. I mean, you have beautiful shorelines, you have clear water, it's just a great multitude of opportunities for people to go out here, have fishing opportunities, and just enjoy a day on the water, just like we did here with Freddie today. Now, you'll also notice that there's a lot of people that fish this lake. That's what happens when you're right near such a large metropolitan area. However, come rig with the right gear and be ready to catch some beautiful slabs just like we did. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.